Hello everyone, let's go ahead and talk about multiplication of fractions. This is actually Q1 week 2 na lesson, right? So, lesson 1, multiplication of fractions. To multiply fractions, these are the steps. So, multiply the numerators, multiply mo yung numbers sa taas, multiply the denominators or yung numbers sa baba, and then reduce the fraction to its simplest form. Multiplication of fractions also include whole numbers and mixed numbers. Okay? Now, tandaan natin yung steps. Try nga natin yung mga uh, examples. Uh, subukan natin. Okay? So, we have 2 thirds, 2 thirds times 1 fifth. Kung susundan natin yung uh, steps, that would be 2 times 1, and then sa baba, 3 times 5, diba? So, ang sagot natin would be 2 over 15. And then, the last step is sabi, reduce the fraction to its lowest term. Na wala ka na pwedeng i-divide sa 2 at saka 15. At the same time ha, kasi kung i-divide mo yung 2 by 2, 1 sana yon. Kaya lang ang 15 ay hindi mo pwedeng i-divide sa 2. Kaya, eto na yung final answer natin. Okay? Kaya lang, with this example, the next one, we have 15 over 28 times 7 over 10. Okay? So, kaya multiply natin yung taas at baba, ito yung magiging sagot natin. 105 over 280. So, sobrang laki ng digits, 105 over 280. So, kailangan natin siyang i-simplify, reduce to its simplest form. Ba? So, paano natin gawin? So, kailangan natin i-divide yung 105 at saka 280 ng kanyang GCF. Yung pinakamalaking number na pwedeng i-divide divide sa dalawa. So, check natin yung GCF. To find the GCF, factor out natin. So, we have 105 is equal to 3 times 5 times 7. And then, 280 is equal to 2 times 2 times 5 times 7. Hanapin natin yung common sa dalawa. So, that is 5, isang 5, at saka isang 7. So, ibig sabihin... Itong dalawa na to ay pwedeng i-divide, ay pwedeng, yes, pwedeng i-divide ng 35 kasi ang GCF niya is 5 times 7 kasi ito yung dalawang common times natin, you get 35 as the GCF. So, 105 divided by 35 and 280 divided by 35, you have a final answer of 3 eighths. Okay? So, there are other ways talaga uh, to multiply fractions para hindi tayo aabot sa mga ganitong numbers na 105 at saka 280. So, let's go ahead and check the content of your module. Alright, we have multiplying fractions. Example 1, what is 1 half of 1 third? Ano daw yung kalahate ng 1 third? So, one way to solve this is through illustration. So, one half of one third. Pwede itong um, i-translate into one half times one third. Tandaan yung of ay papalitan mo lang ng times na symbol. Okay? Or, in Tagalog, ang ibig sabihin lang nito ay kalahate ng one third. So, dapat pakita tayo ng one third muna. ba? So, ito yung one third. Tapos, yung one third daw, hahatiin natin. ba? So, you have there one third muna. Then, hatiin natin. So, yung pula dyan is already the half or the kalahati of one-third. Diba? So, ayan, kalahati siya. Kaya lang, <clears throat> itong shaded parts natin na parang uh, uh, light blue at saka red ay parte ng buong uh, rectangle. Diba? So, dapat buong rectangle na ang hatiin natin. Okay? So, kung titignan mo yung red na part ayun yung kalahate ng one-third, di ba? Pero, kung i-compare mo siya sa buong rectangle, pwede mong sabihin na ito ay isa sa anim. Kaya, yung sagot natin is, one-half of one-third is just one-six. So, sagot natin is, one-six lang kasi, ang red dito ay kala isa lang sa anim na parts, di ba? So, kitang-kita mo na, one-half of one-third is just 
six illustrations lang ang ginamit natin dito, di ba? Okay. So, let's try another one. Okay. So, this time, let's use cancellation method. So, example two. Find the product of one-tenths and two-fourths. So, ito yung sinabi ko kanina na may mga paraan para hindi tayo umabot sa malalaking numbers. And pwede natin gamitan yan with cancellation. So, paano natin gawin? So, one-half times two-fourths, di ba? Okay. Now, pwede natin i-partner ang two at saka ten. Cancel natin. Divide natin by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then, yung 10 divided by 2 is 5. Kasi may limang 2 sa 5. Ay, 2 sa 10. Limang 2 sa 10. Diba? So, ang natira na lang is 1 at 1 sa taas. Tsaka 5 and 4 sa baba. Diba? So, this is now equal to 1 fifth times 1 fourth. And then, sabi dun sa steps, i-multiply mo yung taas. Okay? At i-multiply ang baba. So, you now have 1 over 20. Kailangan pa ba nating i-reduce the lowest term? Hindi na. Kasi wala ka nang pwedeng i-divide sa dalawa. Diba? So, in bis na you come up with big numbers dahil gumamit tayo ng cancellation, ang sagot mo, diretsyo na into its simplest form. Kasi kung tinimes natin yan agad, ang, sa, ang, ang original natin na fraction dyan ay 1 tenth, times 2 fourths. Kung tinimes natin kaagad yan, pwede rin. So, 1 times 2, that's 2. 10 times 4 is 40. Kaya lang, ang sagot mo is 2 over 40. So, kailangan mo siyang i-reduce the lowest term. Now, since ginamitan natin ang cancellation method, dumiretso ka na sa sagot. Kasi kinansel mo na yung 10 at 2 at the start. Okay? So, product of 1 tenth and 2 fourth is just 1 over 20. Okay? Okay, example 3. What is the product of 5, 6, and 415? So, 5, 6 times 415. Okay? So, ano ang pwede nating i-cancel? Pwede mong i-partner ang 5 at saka 15, tapos yung 4 at saka 6. Kasi yung 4 at saka 6 ay pwedeng hatiin. So, 4 divided by 2, that's 2. 6 divided by 2, that's 3, diba? So, 5 at saka 15, pwede rin. So, cancel natin. 4 divided by 2, that's 2. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. And then, 5 divided by 5, you have 1. 15 divided by 5, you have 3. So, ang naiwan na lang sa taas ay 1 at saka 2. Sa baba naman ay 3 at saka 3. So, this is now 1 third times two-thirds. So, yung mga naiwan lang ha, ginamit natin. And then, wala ka na, ka, pwede kailangan i-cancel, ba? So, multiply ka na lang. So, you have one times two, and then three times three. So, final answer natin is two-ninths. Okay? So, answer is two-ninths. Okay? Alright. Let's have type two, multiplying mixed fractions. Ah, uh, Sabi doon, sa simula ng ano natin, eh, ang multiplication of fractions also involve multiplying mixed fractions. So, tignan natin kung paano natin gawin. Okay? So, example 1, we have multiply 6 by 2 and 2 thirds. Ano ang unang gagawin? Okay, sabi dyan, step 1, convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. Tandaan, hindi ka pwedeng mag-multiply ng fraction kung merong whole number. Kasi nga sabi, i-multiply mo yung taas, the numerators, at i-multiply mo yung baba, the denominators. Wala naman sinabi, i-multiply mo sa whole number. Kaya kung may whole number or improper or mixed number ang binigay, dapat baguhin mo siya, gagawin mo siyang improper fraction. So, paano natin gawin? Multiply natin yung denominator with the whole number and then i-add natin yung numerator. So, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2, that is 8. So, we can rewrite this as 6 times 8 thirds, okay, or 8 over 3. Ano yung next step? Next step is express the whole number as a fraction kasi nga hindi ka pwede mag-times ng fractions kung hindi naka-fraction lahat. 
So, dapat naka-fraction form lahat. So, yung 6 na whole number ay gagawin nating fraction. And, and lahat ng whole number ay pwede mong lagyan ng 1 sa baba. Kasi parang ano lang yan eh. Kung merong 6 pesos, kukuha ni ng isang tao, di magkano pera niya. Eh, di ba 6 pesos lang din? So, 6 divided by 1 is just 6. So, lalagyan lang natin ng 1 sa baba. So, 6 over 1 times 8 over 3. So, ano na ngayon ang sunod nating gawin? Okay, next step is multiply both numerators and denominators. Kaya lang, kung pwedeng i-cancel, cancel na natin. Okay, para hindi naaabot sa malalaking numbers. So, using cancellation, okay, check natin ano ang pwedeng i-cancel uh, natin. So, tandaan, kapag nagka-cancel tayo, dapat ang ipapartner mo ay taas, isang, isang number sa taas at isang number sa baba. Pwedeng um, yung parehong magkahanay, pwedeng sa kabila. Okay, so this time i-partner natin ang 6 at saka 3. So, anong pwedeng i-divide sa dalawa? E di 3, kasi kung i-factor out mo yung 6, that is 2 times 3. So, pwede siya divide by 3. And then, 3 divided by 3, pwede rin. So, cancel natin. 6 divided by 3, that would be 2. And then, 3 divided by 3, that would be 1. Alright? So, ang natira na lang is 2 at saka 8 sa taas. And then, 1 and 1 sa baba. ba? So, sagot natin is 2 over 1 times 8 over 1. Okay? And then, Multiply natin yung taas at baba. So, 2 times 8, that is 16 over 1. Ay, 16. And then, 1 times 1, that is 1. So, final step. Simplify your answer. Ang answer natin is 16 over 1. And, 16 over 1 is just a whole number. So, this is equal to 16. Ayan. Okay? So, answer natin. Final answer is just 16. Right? Example 2. Multiply 2 and 5 fifth times 2 over 14. So, first step ulit. Convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. So, this time, may isang uh, mixed number, tapos fraction yung isa, diba? So, convert natin yung 2 and 5 eighth into an improper fraction. Again, multiply natin ang denominator with the whole number. And then add yung numerator. Okay? So, 8 times 2. That is 16. Idagdag natin yung 5. That is 21. So, this is 21 over 8. And then times 2 fourteenths. So, step 2. Multiply both, both numerators and denominators. Kaya lang, kung pwede ka mag-cancel, cancel na muna. Okay? So, again, 21 over 8 times 2 over 14. Ano pwede natin i-cancel? Now, pwede i-partner ang 2 at 14. Pwede kasi i-divide ang, ang 14 by 2, di ba? Kaya lang, 14 kasi at 21 ay mas magandang yun ay partner mo kasi pwede i-divide sa 7 yung dalawa. So, i-partner na lang natin is 2 and 8, okay? At ito yung pareho dun sa module, ha? So, 2 and 8, partner natin, you have 2 divided by 2, that's 1. 8 divided by 2, that is 4. And then, 21 divided by 7, ay tatlo. May, may tatlong 7 sa 21. And then sa 14, may dalawang 7. So, ang natira na lang natin is 3 and 1 sa taas at saka 4 and 2 sa baba. So, this is now 3 fourths times 1 half. ba? And the answer is 3 eighths. Okay? So, ano yung ano yung final step? Sabi, Simplify your answer. Kaya lang, the answer is in its lowest term already. So, answer mo is already or is just 3 eighths. Okay? Now, example 3. Multiply 8 and 1 third times 1 and 1 fifth. So, this time, meron tayong dalawang mixed number. So, again, ano yung unang step? Convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. So, 3 times 8, that is 24 plus 1, 25. So, 25 over 
3 times. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 that is 6. So this is now 6 over 5. Okay? And then step number 2, multiply mo na sana. Kaya lang kung pwedeng i-cancel, cancel mo na natin. So multiply both numerators and denominators. Use cancellation method if needed. So 25 over 3 times 6 over 5. Ang pwedeng i-partner dito is 6 and 3 kasi pwedeng i-divide ng 3 ang dalawa. Tapos yung 25 at saka 5 ay pwedeng i-divide by 5. Okay? So cancel natin ang 3 divided by 3, that is 1. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Dahil may dalawang 3 sa 6. And then 5 divided by 5 is 1. 25 divided by 5 is 5. So ang natira ngayon is... 5 and 2 sa taas in 1 in 1 sa baba. Okay, so this is now 5 over 1 times 2 over 1. And the answer is 10 over 1. Now, final step is simplify your answer. 10 over 1. So, alam na natin na any whole number ay pwedeng may 1 sa baba. So, any fraction na may 1 sa baba is just a whole number. So, tanggalin na lang natin yung 1. So, 10 over 1 is just 10. Okay? So, answer natin. Final answer is just 10. So, practice exercise tayo. Okay? Alright. Find the product. Use the box models below to find what is 1 half of 4 fifth. So, kalahate ng 4 fifth. So, magpapakita muna ako dito ng model of 4 fifth. Okay? So, um, kalahate ng 4 fifth. E di hatiin natin, di ba? So, hatiin natin. Kaya lang, dahil kalahate lang naman ang kuhanin natin, ibahin natin yung kulay ng kalahate. So, that is, ayan na. So, yung yellow, ito na ngayon ang kalahate sa 4 fifth. Diba? So, kung titignan mo, alam mo na yung sagot. That is just apat uh, sa sampu lahat. Kasi isama mo dapat lahat eh. Kasi yung buong rectangle dapat ang titignan mo. So, yung buong rectangle is divided into 10 na ngayon. And then, yung naka-yellow, yun yung kalahate ng 4 fifth. Okay? Yun yung sagot natin. So, ang sagot natin is apat sa sampu. Diba? 1, 2, 3, 4, apat sa sampu. So, this is 4 tenths. Tama? Kaya lang, okay, ang 4 tenths ay pwede mong i-reduce into its lowest term kasi pwedeng i-divide ang 4 ng 2 at ang 10 ng 2. Diba? So, pag nag-reduce uh, tayo into lowest forms or lowest terms, okay, I divide lang natin yan. So, 4 divided by 2 is supposed to be it's 2. And then, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, 2 fifth ang sagot natin, di ba? Now, nagpakita ako dati ng another way para uh, ma-reduce yung lowest term. Pwede mo siya i-factor out then Okay? So, factor out natin yung 4. That is just 2 times 2. At saka 10 ay 2 times 5. So, una kong sinabi, pwede mo i-divide ha. And then, pwede mo rin i-factor out para cancel mo na lang yung pareho. So, cancel natin yung 2. Ang natira ay 2 fifth. Tama? So, final answer natin is 2 fifth. Now, paano natin ito uh, mapatutunayan gamit ang drawing? Eh, kung titignan mo yung drawing, kasi 2 fifth lang eh. Eh, 4, four tenths kasi nakalagay dyan. Paano natin ipakita na 2 fifth lang talaga yan? Diba? Di, tanggalin natin yung uh, hati. Okay? Eh, dito natin ipakita sa sunod. Okay, so tanggalin yung hati and then ilipat yung dalawang um, dalawang yellow. Yung pangatlong yellow at saka pangapat na yellow ilipat sa taas nung dal unang dalawa. So, pag ilipat natin yan, ito na itsura niyan. So, kung titignan mo na itong drawing sa baba, meron ka ng dalawang yellow okay, sa limang total divisions or total parts. Diba? So, pwede mo nang sabihin ng yellow parts is 2 fifth. Tama, diba? O, tinanggal mo lang yung division, tas nilipat mo yung yellow. Okay? So, tama nga. 4 tenths is equal to 2 fifth. Okay? Pinakita natin yan sa drawing. Okay? 
Let's have number 2. What is the product of 1, 6 times 15? Okay, so 1, 6 times 15 ay dapat nasa 15. Ginawa natin itong 15 over 1, di ba? So, 1, 6 times 15 over 1. And then, ano ang pwede natin cancel So, ang 6 ay pwedeng i-divide by 3. Ang 15 din ay pwedeng i-divide by 3, di ba? So, cancel natin ito, divide by 3, mayroon kang dalawa, dalawang 3 dyan. And then, sa 15, mayroon kang limang 3. So, ang natira ngayon is 1 and 5, tsaka 2 and 1. So, sagot natin is 5 over 2. Kasi 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 1 is 2, di ba? And then, 5 halves or 5 over 2 is an improper fraction dahil mas malaki yung nasa taas kaya gagawin natin siyang mixed number so i-divide lang natin yan di ba? 5 divided by 2 ilang 2 meron sa 5? merong dalawa at sobra isa so yung isa ngayon ang magiging fraction natin so ang denominator would be 2 so 2 and 1 half yun lang ang sagot ba? And then, subukan natin yung 3, 4, and 5 na walang explanation. Okay? Sige. And then, pwede nyo i-pause kung hindi pa tapos yung um, pagsasolve nyo. Alright? So, answer pala natin dito is 2 and 1 half. 